WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets in positive territory, but off the highs. Dow Jones up 72 points, trading at 25,989. S&P's up 11, trading at 2796. And you've got the NASDAQ up 10 points, trading at 2794. Quite a day to the downside for gold, negative $16, 129930 dollar index with some strength, as would make sense with gold pulling back. You get the dollar index up 327 ticks, trading at 96,370. Notes and bonds, 10-year note, negative 8 ticks, 121.23. 30-year bond, negative 18 ticks, 143.29. Let's start it off. We'll jump over to the futures market, take a look at the Dow. And as I said, markets in positive territory, but off of the highs. 10 a.m. this morning, basically the highs across the board. We got an ISM number manufacturing that disappointed at 10 a.m. and all the markets kind of pulled back. We're trading at 26,131 in the Dow. We trade down to a low of 25,911, currently trading just under 26K. NASDAQ 100, much the same. There's 930, and there's your 10 a.m. volatility, 71.52. Now about 20 NASDAQ 100 points under that level, trading 71.33. S&P 500 trading at 27.95. 10 a.m. this morning, we're about 12 points higher at 28.07. Crude oil, quite a pullback for crude. You have crude trading from 10 a.m. this morning, 57.50. We trade almost $2 to the downside to 55.57. Crude under $56, looking at that April contract. And there's your gold decline. Again, 10 a.m. this morning, trading at 13.13. We trade down to 12.9953, almost at session lows. And euro US dollar, we've seen a little bit of volatility in both directions. You get the euro trading at 113.65. In terms of movers and shakers out there on Friday, Tesla down 8%. Elon Musk announcing last night after the market closed that they will have a new, less expensive version of the Model 3 at about the actual $35,000 they had first talked about when talking about that car. They are also going to be closing basically all of their stores, doing all of their business online, and they are not going to be profitable for 2019. On the flip side of that, Foot Locker earnings almost 10% cop sales up, up 5.4%, and Gap going to spin off Old Navy and the market loving that up 18%. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Have a great Friday.